Hello everybody, welcome back to Inscription. I am the DK Editor, and uh, let's just hop back into it. Uh, where's my... Oh. I forgot your figurine. I was about to say, didn't I just get it last time too? But, hey, I could be wrong. Get up and fetch it for me. Um, okay. It's beside the safe. Alright, well, I am going to actually disregard that, see if... Oh yeah, I don't have a key... I'm just gonna snuff that out. Uh, grab those. Give the globe a whirl. I'm touching your shit. You can't do anything about it. Alright. The knife is what we're gonna need later. Hey, that's me. Okay. Um, let's see. 273. Okay, that's what the combination was. Okay, got it. Got it. 27. All right. Stink bug. Oh, hello. I wasn't sure if I would ever escape that iron crypt. This is the stone around. The stunted wolf. This madness must end. Put that away. All right. We got a key, and I'm going to go do some of the good, good puzzles here. All right. So let's take a look. What are we dealing with here? Nice, nice. I forgot that I had put that there. Very well. You may add it to your deck. And I'll do you one every so often. Hey, Skink's a pretty good card, man. Next puzzle. Let's see. Now, I don't fully remember how all these puzzles actually work. I don't remember all of their... Uh, how do I put it? I don't remember all their solutions, per se. Um, So it may take a little bit for me to... Oh, no, that should work, right? Yeah, there we go. Ah. Formidable creatures, those ants. Very well. I will add them to your deck and make them available for future challengers. Worker and an ant queen. Sucks to go against them, but hey, if you have them in your deck, they're pretty good if you know how to use them. All right, so we got more puzzles. Let's see, what are we dealing with here? Okay, so that can't move, so we're dealing with the ant cards now. So what can I move and what can I not? So... So that's going to move. Hmm. Th oh. It's going to... Oh, I see. Okay, yeah, because since we have three ants on the board, it's going to do... Th this one's going to do three damage. These two don't matter. This is going to move, but it also doesn't matter because this is an air sigil. Got it. So that should do five. Okay. Gotcha. Curious. Cage wolf. Oh. Right. We also need to do these puzzles in order to actually progress the story. We have to get the cage wolf. We gotta break it out and go from there, but I'll show you guys once we actually get to that point, so let's see. Alright, this is going to be an interesting one, so let me think. I feel like I need to do something here in order to make sure that this doesn't move. I, and I think the goal is that it's gonna hit here. That's going to die. So that means... I get to hit here and here without actually moving this. I think that's the way to do it. Yep. Okay. Without having met her, this wood carving is meaningless. In time, you will understand its power. Okay. Well, I mean, did all the uh, did all the puzzles. Uh, I guess it's time for me to actually grab the figurine, yeah. Let's see. I guess I'll grab grab this figurine here. Let us continue. All right. New cards. Let's see. What do we got? A meager coyote. But what did you expect from only four bones? Oh, yeah. So last time we did actually unlock bones. So we're going to have bone cards now. This is going to be just a secondary kind of currency that we have in order to play cards. So that's going to be interesting. The nefarious rattler, a brittle creature, once passed its monstrous fangs. The unkillable cockroach. It returns to your hand after dying. Cockroach, always a good choice. You know, you're afraid to get up again to keep your blood flowing. Yeah, I mean, I kind of already got everything I needed to, so I mean, we can just play through and um, just kind of go from there, I guess. Some bone tokens for a rainy night. Uh, yeah, I mean, since we have bones, it probably would be good to get it just in case. All right, first battle. You again. Indeed. Our friend freed me. Well, 
I basically told them how to do it. You got a plan? We have another friend here. You've got to be. I wouldn't call him a friend. But I suppose we are in deep this time. And that, my friend, is going to be the caged wolf. So I think what I'm going to go ahead and do, I'm going to go ahead and try to actually break him out. And progress things a little bit. So how do I want to play this? Okay. Slow and meticulous, but it's the way to do it. Perfect. There we go. Nice. Okay. Yes. So now we can put kind of a few things things down so let's see what can uh, maybe, uh, just over here I guess why not and then why not all right if you desire it you may stand now it will allow me time to plan oh yeah I am no tyrant you may stand whenever the map is unrolled it allows me time to plan your next encounter but do keep your hands off my possessions. I already did, Chief. No promises. I'm just gonna yeet and, uh, uh, bada boom and put this boy in here. And, uh, here we go. You finally pried my special dagger from the pawns of that, uh, from the paws of that squirrel. Though you wish, though you may wish you had it. Well, I'm going to use your, uh, your special dagger, my boy. Whether you like it or not. The inevitable maggot. It will lurch forth from your hand when the creatures are killed. Always a good card. The underappreciated wing room, its value is not readily apparent. Of course, Maggot, because it's going to be very good at placing high value cards down without having to actually sacrifice anything. Speaking of, let me go ahead and put you. Uh. Hmm. I have two wolves. Okay. This is going to be an interesting run. And if I can get another sacrifice table. Let's see. Uh, let's get to a totem battle. All right, so the next goal is to poke my eye out because we need to get Magnificus's eye. That's the ideal here. Uh, okay, so they are going to move around. That's going to be kind of annoying, but if we just uh, poke our eye out. Oh, there we go. And then let's see. I guess we can... Eh, should we just end it? Yeah, let's just end it just to move on. Alright. Now, there we go. Okay. Now time to choose a good eye. Believe it or not, you're not the first to lose an eye here. This isn't much fun if you're half blind. Perhaps you'd like to replace it. I would. Let's see. Uh. Oh, shit. Do you not have the eye in here? Hmm. This is not good. Well then. Hmm. Unless it's this one? Ah, oh, nope. Okay. Better. Regardless, the choice is final. Well, guess I was wrong about that, so, um... I guess, if anything, we just have to lose again, and then, uh, we can get our eye back. I'll be clear with ye. The trapping business has been lagging after being defeated by that challenger. Well, I'm thinking of clearing my inventory. Try on something else. Pelts are cheaper now. Interesting. Okay. The first one's free. Let's see, do I have seven? Dang, golden pelts are three? Hmm. Why not? I'll go ahead and just get two of them, so there we go. Much appreciated. Okay. Alright, then we got the fire. Then we should be good. The warm light of a campfire was a welcome sight, though the ten hungry eyes around it dampened the greeting. Warm a creature by the fire, enhance its health, said one. Okay, let's see what we got. Um, since it's going to be a defense card, I guess the both frog's health would be good. The survivors were right about the flames. They had enhanced the creature's health. Spawning a few of the survivors drooling, you made with the hasty retreat with your bullfrog. Okay. So we need to cash it. So let's go over here and then I need to sacrifice on something on the wolf. Alright. Let's go ahead and get her going. 
Okay, so let's put you there. We'll put you here. Just to kind of defend against it a little bit. It's hard to call it cowardly. Yeah, you know, I mean... You do what you gotta do, I guess. You know what I mean? Like, if you gotta cut off your own tail to survive, hey, you know, it is, it is what it is. Uh, let's put you here in the battle. There we go. Alright, now let's trade in our gold pelts for some goodies. Show me some exquisite pelts. Hair pelts, okay. Now this opens up a few options, okay. So we already have two wolves. I'm going to sacrifice the cockers under the wolf to get undying, and I'm going to go see the mycologist to see if I can't combine these two. That would be a really a really good card, but now the question is, is there anything else I want to sacrifice onto something? Um, you know what? Maybe the if I can sacrifice the beehive onto the bullfrog, I think that would be good. Because every time the bullfrog gets hit, it would give me a bee. And bees can do attack, and they're free to play cards. I think... I think that's the option I am going to go with for this one. Incredible. Golden pelts. Okay. Um, since they did nice, I think we'll go with the Gek. And then... Mole Man seemed to do pretty good last time. I may put the Beehive on him, actually, if that's the choice that we're given. So let's do that. You have my gratitude. All right, yeah, so let's sacrifice the beehive onto the mole man. I think that's going to be the, uh, the best situation that we're given. All right, and there we go. Okay, minor boss. Let's get it. The incessant clank, clank, clanking reverberated between your ears. The path ahead was blocked by a grotesque figure. Uh, I'm so sick of this boss. Ah, it could be worse. Could be worse, Mr. Luke. Twas the prospector. Hee haw. Okay, let's see what we are dealing with. So strange. Why can't I remember his name? I believe I lost some of my memory in the flesh. Okay, let me see. What do we want to start out playing with? Uh, probably... Yeah, that should be okay. So that'll go there. Let's do... Stink Bug. Yeah. Alright, I need to make sure that I am kind of slowing it down so that way I'm not killing those off too quick. Trying to go for the mule here, so I need to... So many bones. Okay, so... Okay, yeah, that should be okay. Two. Yeah. Okay, so... Uh, two... Put you there just to kind of block off some of the damage to kind of keep it at a fair pace. Okay. Now we need to start kind of getting rid of some of them. Power number, the Ants Creed. Yes, yes. So both of them will do two. That's perfect. I got the mule. I got more cards to work with. Very nice. Dang, Nabbit. Okay. Now. The only real problem I'm going to have now is I'm not going to have any playing space. Because he's going to turn all this shit into... Uh, he'll turn it into gold, so that's going to be kind of an issue. But let's see. There's gold in them cards. Yep. 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 And yep. Okay. G -g gold I've struck gold. Okay. I think, as of now, I think we're okay on actual cards to work with, but 
Let's see if we can't place that down. Oh yeah, we're good. We're good. We're good. We're good. Alright, yeah. Easy enough. Okay. Your lives are restored. Very nice. Very nice. Okay. Choose carefully. The Holy Mantis God. A perfect incarnation of terror. Ooh, okay. Mantis God. Yeah, always been Mantis God. Yes, sir, Mr. Luke. That's what you always gotta do. After the harrowing encounter with the Prospector, you gathered yourself and continued onwards. Hmm. Oh, yes, I know. The air grew thick with moisture. The buzzing and chirping of insects drowned out the sound of your footfalls. You beheld the wetlands. Okay, so this Okay, so let me think. Do I need to get rid of any cards, or do I need more items? More. Because I think my deck is pretty good. I need to sacrifice the cockroach onto the mantis god now, though. That's going to be the main thing. So, I think... Oh, we have a sacrifice up there. What I'm going to do... I need more... I need more items, so I'll go get items, then we go for the sacrifice table. I think that's the best way to do it. The Trial of Health. The three drawn cards must have at least six health combined to pass. The Trial of Bones. The three drawn cards must cost at least five bones combined to pass. The Trial of Wisdom. The three drawn cards must have at least three sigils among them to pass. Okay, so I'm looking to fail this, ideally. So how... Ah. Ah, but my, a lot of cards got sigils on them. That's the problem. That's not going to work. I could try for health, maybe. But even that's still kind of risky. I think... I'm going to try for bones, because I want to fail this. I don't need to increase my deck. So I'm going to go for bones. Let's see. Let the trial of bones begin. Okay, okay, we love to see it. Yes, sir. Zero from the worker ant. Zero from the mole man. Zero from the bullfrog. Failure. The creature whispered as it faded into the blackness. I mean, that's fine. We don't need extra cards like that anyway, so I'm not really worried. Okay, another dagger. Nice, 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 nice. Perfect. We use it to cut up cards, and we're good. Okay, next battle. Okay, um, I guess we'll do skink for skink, because why not? Probably get the mailman out there if there's anything that is worth... Ooh, okay, maybe not. Maybe not. Let's try our dagger again, and see if we can't get the actual eye we need. Would you care for a new eye? I would. He does. I don't. I just don't think he has it this run. We'll get the goat eye. Why not? Yeah, I just don't think he's gonna have it on this run. Happy with that one? Well, not really. But you know, I prefer the actual eye I need. But hey, it is what it is. I guess. All right. So, uh, I guess we can go for bone cards. Why not? And, okay, a Rattler's not terrible, I guess, but it's kind of a high bone cost. Alright, let's sacrifice the Cockroach. Let's put it on the Mantis God. So that way, in case it dies because of low health, we can just get it back. And it's, it's just a good card all around, in my opinion. So, next battle. Ooh, you love to see it. Okay. Uh, let's see if we can do that. Okay, so that will do two. Okay, this is going to be a interesting battle, to say the least. How do I want to do this? So one, he's going to die here. Um... That's really about the best I think I can do for that. Yeah, so he'll attack, that's fine. Act as a shield. 
It's gonna die again. Let me just do. Uh, let me just do that. I guess that'll probably be the best thing I can do. <sighs> Ooh, that is not good. Okay. This is not ideal. Okay. What do I want to do? I think I'm gonna cut. Let's see. Only deals it by that, so let's cut you. I need to get damage on the board, so let's do this. That's fine. Okay, so we're... Okay, that's fine. Uh, let's see. Let's get at least two on the board. That's fine. Ah, oh, thank God for this Mantis God, seriously. Okay. There we go. Ah, oh, yeah, putting the Undying Sigil on the Mantis God was definitely the right play. Oh my god. Okay. The Pernacious Vulture, a tyrant of the skies. Don't really care about the Ring Worm unless it's Casey's mod. And we do have another Cockroach. I think I'm still gonna go... Hmm, we could put it... We could put it on the Gek. It's free. Yeah, let's put it on the Gek, actually, before... Or if we actually are able to find a sacrifice table. Alright. Warm a creature by the fire, enhance its power, said a hungry survivor. We're gonna upgrade the Mantis God, just because whenever I put it down at, at the start, it's going to immediately win battles. The fire warmed the weary Mantis God and enhanced its power. You suspect that the intentions of the, of the survivor were less than pure. With your Mantis God in tow, you retreated into the woods. Alright, yeah, we can actually do our plan with sacrificing. Perfect. Look. There's a third talking card somewhere around here. Personally, I hate the guy. Biggest killjoy ever. But he's the only one of us with a plan to get things back to normal. So you say, so you say. How do I want to do this? Because I can place both of y'all down. This is gonna be. I'm gonna have to try to make use of the of the beehive for sure. Ooh, this is gonna be a tough one. Oh shit. Okay, this is not good. Ah, let's do that to minimize the damage. Take that. Ooh. Okay. Interesting. 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 So we will place you here. We'll place you here. We'll place you here just to minimize that damage. Kind of balance it out. Okay. I don't... F oh, God. Oh, God. Why did I do that? Okay, this is not good. Um... Oh, God. Okay. Nah. Oh, this is a definite L. Oh, God. Okay. Oh, Jesus. Ah, oh, this is unlucky. Um. Oh, he's, yeah, he's just gonna straight die. I don't know what to do. Oh, yeah, it's just an L on this one. There's nothing I can do. Ah, GG. Fuck. How disappointing. Well, yeah, because all you threw is fucking goddamn anders and rattlers at me, bro. Like, what the fuck? Hmm, I don't recall making that one. We have another cockroach. I could... I... Hmm. The bell one's not bad either. But I think the cockroach in the long run is going to work better. I think that's the plan. Let's put the cockroach onto the gek. There we go. Okay. Now I have a free card to play all the time, so that is good. The mug tugged hard at your feet, forcing you to slow your pace. 
A rank odor caused your stomach to churn and your eyes to water. It was the running fish that hung from the branches around you. A huge man approached. Go fish. Okay. The angler. Mind his hook? Play a squirrel or something. When he aims it. That will protect your best cards. Yeah. Okay. I... I don't think anything is actually, unfortunately, going to be... What? Oh, well, that was actually easier than I expected it to. Here I was overthinking it. Not even gonna worry about the hook. Just give me, give me the goods. Die already! Go fish. Also, look, would you mind shutting up for, like, a tiny bit, my boy? Okay, this is not good. Not good at all. Let me think. Yeah, let me just put you down, I guess. Just to get something on the board. Okay, that's fine. All right. And here we go. Easy enough. You will not perish quite yet. Perhaps one of these will entice you. The Eternal Serpent. Death strengthens it forever. Ouroboros is always good. The Animomorphous Amoeba. Its sigils are ever-changing. And another moment. Let's go with Ouroboros. That's always a good one. Moving past the pond, you took a deep breath of fresh air and continued on. We will need another map. The relief of the fresh air quickly gave way to a bone-shaking chill. You guessed at the path ahead as the snow increasingly obscured it. You had climbed to the snow line. Alright. Let's try to see if we can't fail this again because I don't need any more cards personally. The Trial of Blood. Three drawn cards must cost at least four blood to combine to pass. The Trial of Power. The three drawn cards must have at least four attack power to combine to pass. The Trial of Health. The three drawn cards must have at least six health combined to pass. Ah, oh, God. I'm trying to think here because... A lot of my cards are blood, and I'm going to have a lot of attack power. I mean, it, mm, I guess I, I don't know. I got a lot of ones, so I mean, it's possible it could draw from it. And maybe zero because of the ants, but uh, do I risk it? Because health is kind of low. Well, actually, no, some of these might not be. Uh, uh, I think I'm... Uh, Cost of blood. Okay, so I. I think the cost of blood might be short, so let's try blood. Let the trial of blood begin. Okay, zero. One. Thank God. Okay, zero from the geck, one from the mole man, two from the wolf. Failure. That is totally fine. Okay. Now, let us sacrifice the cockroach onto the wolf. That's what we're gonna do. Alright. Let's put you here. Let's put you on the wolf. Now, the goal is to find the mycologist so we can put those wolf cards together. Um, that is the ideal scenario, but I don't know if we're going to be able to have the chance to meet him in this run. Salutations. Yet we shall see what happens with that, I suppose. So we can actually do a bunch of sacrificing here. Ah, oh, that's gonna... Ah, it's better than nothing, I suppose, but... Ah, oh, that's just gonna make it rough. Oh, man, unless he really is trying out here to kill me. Oh, Jesus. Okay. 
yeah, this... I think part of the issue, too, is that my deck got a bit too big for my liking. Ah, so this is not... Yeah, this is not turning out ideal. Me again. Okay. Oh, but there's not much I can really have you do at this point. That's the problem. Yeah, that's an L on my part. Dang. Yeah, I gotta get rid of cards somehow. I hope for more. Alright, let's see. I need to get more items, too. Ye, ever since that defeat. Well, ye don't want to hear it. Cheaper prices. Enjoy. Ah, it's like, I don't really want pelts, though, in all honesty. Thanks for your patronage. Uh, let me see if I can go this way, because I need to get rid of cards, get more items. I truly don't think we can get it on this run, so I'm not going to worry about it. Let's get the pliers. Let's get the sexy black goat. I cannot believe I'm saying that sentence, but hey... That's what happens whenever you get the black goat eye. And let's get a squirrel. Okay. Alright, so we have... Oof. Okay. Alright, let's go ahead and pop you. You'll see why. Alright, so on each death, Ouroboros is going to get stronger. It'll come back into my hand, so instead of having 1-1, one, one, he's now 2-2. Two, two. So... With this in mind, what we will do is we will make our Ouroboros ever slightly so stronger. Just to kind of help out with damage and all of this good stuff. I think what we're going to do, though, is we can put down the Rattler. We can put down... Let's put down the Stoat to get rid of the Fawn. Uh, it's fine. I'll move... I'm gonna do that to get rid of the moose. Now it's just the pronghorn I've gotta worry about, but that shouldn't be bad. There we go, perfect. All playing out nicely. There we go, just get rid of the elk. Alright. Now, now it's just the thing where I just have to kind of make sure that I'm taking care of anything else that needs to be taken care of such as the raven, so we can do this. Get two bees ahead, and we're pretty much good. Very nice. Well played, well played. Okay, I don't need, I need to fail this trial again, so. Okay, the trial of wisdom. The three draw cards must have at least three sigils. I'm probably gonna pass that, no worries. Trial of Bone, the three drawn cards, at least five bones, and Trial of Power. I think... Hmm. I still think Bones is our best bed. Let's see. Let your Trial of Bones begin. <sighs> you have passed the track. Damn. Okay. Um. Damn, I think this might have to be the card I sacrifice, in all honesty. I don't really need it. You went to it the fate of the creature selected for this would not be pleasant. It's like I don't really want that specific card in all honesty. Let's just uh, let's just get rid of it. You callously slaughtered the hand tentacle. However, the bone lord is pleased by your sacrifice. A minor boon of the bone lord. He will start each battle with one extra bone. You shook off the viscera of the poor hand tentacle and carried onwards. All right. All right. Next battle. Let's see. Um, guess we can put you there. Should be fine. I'll get him back, so that's no worries. Let's uh, put you there. Okay. I guess I'll do a little bit of overkill, why not? Alright. Besides that one weird loss, I think we're doing pretty good, though, in all honesty. Okay, well... Is there anything else I would like to put the Undying Sigil on? Is that even a thing I want to do at this moment? 
I don't want the I don't want the sparrow moose. I guess why not? I might get the cockroach. Um, items would be good, but I need to probably sacrifice to get my card number down. Um, I don't know. Maybe the stone. I guess I can put it on. Why not? Yeah? Alright. Yeah, I don't know. It's just, it just seems like the best option as of now. Alright. Time to go to the Trapper and Trader boss fight. He took in the familiar sights and sense of the Trapper's pelts. But something was different. The once friendly man now beheld you with a steely gaze. I'm afraid I must be skinning you today. And with this, we will basically be uh, pretty much good. All right. All right, now it's a question of what all do I want to sacrifice before we get to the actual boss fight? All right, I think I need at least one more area open. So I've got three pelts. If I want to pretty much instantly take out the boss, that's fine. Yeah, that should be fine. Alright. And we are going to basically face off in the trappers. Alright, so we defeated the trapper. Nice. No, it's just a traitor. Let's see. Oh. <sighs> or not. Okay. Okay, this... Oh, God. Well, this is not what I was expecting. Okay. Well, it is ensured that we are going to lose. So, let's see what I can do, I guess, in the meantime. This is a shirt, damn. Oh well. Guess the best thing we can do is take at least three bears with us, because, you know, the bears. Ah, I was not expecting this. You will make an exquisite pelt. Oh no, ah! Okay, well, damn, I was not expecting that, but it is what it is, I guess. You aren't dead yet. This isn't purgatory, though you may think of it that way. Before you expire, I must ask you a favor. I would like a memento. Hmm, where did I put that camera of mine? Uh, let's try to snap a photo of him real quick. Pathetic. Did you really think I would leave film in there? Do you have an idea what that camera is capable of? Give me that. Okay, so we did have to lose then in order to actually get the film and stuff. We have a memento to create. Your very own death card. It's quite plain at the moment, isn't it? We will work together to amend that. I want this to be the perfect memento of you. Here's your cards from your mediocre deck. We can put them to good use. Please, choose a card to draw the cost from. A cost of one blood from the Mantis God. Use its power and... Ugh. Zero power and three health. Extract the sigils from... Okay, well... I mean, it might be an okay defense card, I guess. God, what do I do? Silk. I mean, it's got ants, like, maybe? I'm just gonna call you Bug. I don't know. There is now but one final matter. The portrait. Are you ready? You do not need to smile. How 
is this game not over yet? Ah, uh, well, you see, there's many steps. Not much for trading that last one. Are you prepared to make the right deals? A gift from the Angler. You see, he was defeated recently and wishes to redeem himself. It would be unfortunate if you were to fall to the Prospector before he was given that chance. This hook is powerful. You may steal one of my cards with it. For that reason, you will not find any others along the path. Use it wisely. It seems the Lily Stink Bug has made its way in. But it is dealt, so it stands. Okay. I guess that's fine. We're starting to progress and move things along, so that should be okay. No, you may not choose a specific beast. Instead, you must now decide on a tribe that you prefer. Uh, let's see. Nice. Proud wolf. A randomly chosen canine card. Did you wish for something else? Actually, no. It's actually quite good. I will say. Alright, the totems. Here we go. This is what I'm looking for. An ancient woman emerged from behind an oak tree. She carefully laid out intricate wood carvings. and gestured at them grotesquely. Choose. Uh... There we go. So now my squirrels will be able to do at least some kind of damage. The old woman bared her teeth in satisfaction. Your first totem was complete. The sharp quill sigil will now be marked upon all your squirrel creatures. Very nice. Very nice. Very nice. Okay. Yeah, you love to see it. Okay. So, we are going to go ahead and start kind of getting these boys down. Okay, so that is going to be definitely an issue. No worries, though. We'll just do this. I don't know. Part of me just wants to take out this, but I guess we didn't really need to. Okay. All right, next card tribe again. I'm, su I'm surprised that's asking me for this again. I don't really want a bird. Ooh, a black goat. The apothecized goat, the truest offering. Sacrificing it grants three blood. Now that is pretty good. All right, more totems, okay. I don't really need any of this. I'll just choose those. Go with the same ones. There we go. All right. Let's head over to the next one. Let's see. Also, I don't know if there's anything I could sacrifice as of now. I'd have to double check the hand. But what I will say is that it is looking quite good, if I say so myself. I'm also going to use the knife just to see if I can't get the eye already. speed this along. There we go. I imagine you'd like to replace that eye you lost. I would. Now just give me the right eye. There we go. That's the one I want. They'll give me magical powers. Alright, look at the cuckoo clock. Find salvation in the cuckoo clock. The choice is final. Alright, time to take a look at the good old cuckoo clock. Now, we just have to match up everything in order to get this. Take the film roll before he sees it. Now, what are you doing over there? Turn to face me. What are you up to over there? Ah, don't worry about me. I, I, I promise I didn't steal nothing. Uh, I'm just gonna do this. I'm gonna knock knock your teeth out. Oh, oh, never mind. I do relish snuffing out your excess candles before a boss. Perhaps you will now enjoy it as much as I do. Let me just go ahead and uh, knock your teeth out. I wish I could knock your damn teeth out too for being an asshole. Uh, let's see. Nice. Okay. Uh, well, I guess that's really all for that. Okay. That's really all I needed to do. So now, I think the time now is basically just to win, I believe. So that is going to be the goal for this one. We have to win. So is there anything I can sacrifice? Not really. I do want more cards if possible. Let me see, maybe I can get something to sacrifice out of this. Venerable Alpha. It's courage and boldness the creature that stands beside it. Our beehive. Uh we'll take bug. Why not? I can get it sigil. Uh, sacrifice you. We will put you on. I have two wolves. 
Yes, let's put it on here. That might be good. There we go. Alright, well, at least that card came in something of handy, I suppose. Okay. Swirl. Okay. I ought to thank you. How has it been? It has been quite bad. I am trapped in the body of a stoat. In the paper of a card. I see that. And I have, of course, set up a way to reset once more. Go on. Our player friend here. They already hold the key. Which is the film roll, I assume. Okay, so let's put you there. Try to get some more damage on the board. That skunk is going to be a problem. Let's put you down here. There we go. Get some more damage here. Okay. And then... Alright, so we're going to get a good amount of overkill for this one. That's pretty good. Nice, nice, nice. Okay, we're coming along nicely. Ah, dang it. I was hoping for a, um, for a course maggot, but it's all good. I don't really have a use for a ringworm, so I need to get rid of that ASAP. Probably get rid of the bullfrog. I can put it on... Just put it on the stink bug, why not? Empower me. All right, to the prospector boss. That smoke, it is great indeed. All right, minor boss. A chill mist closed in around you. You were not alone. A figure emerged from the fog. Stand in the way of me gold, be darned. Prospector boss, again. Indeed again. Indeed again. Okay. Put you down there. We'll put you here, I guess. Uh, that should be okay. Yeah, so I'm still trying to pop the mule. So if I can do that... Hopefully soon. Uh, two. Let's give it a little longer. It's fine. Okay, now no, what we're going to do is we are actually going to trade, trade you out. We are going to... Uh, let's place you down, and I guess that will be it for that. And then we can start actually going full throttle on this. My mule in her pack. So you found the stunned wolf. I have seen this play out enough times to know that a plan is in motion. Make haste. Indeed. Okay. Uh, let's do that. I need to be careful about the card stockpile, though. You took the film roll. Is that correct? My plan nears its moment of truth. But you must defeat him first. Yep. Uh, don't need to tell me. Trust me, I got it all in motion. You don't gotta worry. There's gold in them cards. Alright. Good gold. I've struck gold. Okay, let's see. Let's see. Let's see. How do we want to do this? Let's place you here. My friend, you go there. You go here. And my friend, you go here. Now we end and move on. Reignite. Perhaps one of these will entice you. Amoeba or Boris, canine, hooved, reptilian, feathered, insectoid. The amalgam is all. I still think Ouroboros, especially since it's 4-4, so I guess it's saved from previous games, so that's nice. 
so already getting a really good card off top. Free of the prospector's unhinged gaze, you look ahead. A moment. As the air grew humid, your boots became harder to pull from the mud. The dank smell of tepid water invaded your nostrils. You have reached the wetlands. Alright, well, I think it's time to go ahead and try to get rid of some cards, so we'll see what we can pull from here. Reginald. Not bad, okay. Not bad, bone card. Alright, but let's see. I want to get rid of that ringworm. I don't it doesn't serve any purpose. Let me see if I can just sacrifice it. There we go. Bone Lord is very pleased, so let's move on. Okay. We meet again. That we do. Okay. Let's put you there. Okay, so this is going to definitely be more a interesting ant round, to say the least. What do I want to do here? I could use this, I could pull it, I could end it. But if I theoretically survive it... Yeah, it should be fine, I guess. I'm not gonna... I don't wanna waste it. Yeah, I'm not worried about it. It's all good. Okay, yeah, we are... We are doing pretty good. Yeah, so it'll do two. That's fine. Or three, I guess. Math was a little off. That's fine. We'll do this us up. Alright, now it should just, should just end it. There we go. Alright, new cards. Let's see what we got. The Tragic Wrecking. When the tangled bodies become corpses, you will gain four bones. Um, let's see, I've already got two bone cards. Eh, I guess, I don't know, I guess one more bone card couldn't hurt. Probably the, probably the Rattler. Let's go ahead and see if we can't combine the wolf cards now. You find yourself among a grove of thick and pungent mushrooms. You squinted to see a figure through a, th a thick cloud of spores. We are the mycologists, yes? Yes. A and we are performing our experiments far from, from... We are not welcome elsewhere. We will experiment on your flock, yes? We, we will need two of the same creatures. One for each of us. Yep, and here you go. I, I think this could get messy. Look away. And there we go. The the wolf. Is it now one? There we go. So now we get to put cards together and make them more powerful. Perfect. Okay. Okay, let's see. So we'll place a stunted wolf there. Oh, that's not good. Okay. I'm just gonna go ahead and do this because it's just gonna get fucked up anyway by the at by the rattler. There we go. You won't find cheaper pelts within a hundred miles. Uh, on the I uh, just don't I don't know, I just don't want pelts really. You have me gratitude. More items is what I do need, though. So let's go ahead and grab that. Let's get those. Oh. Oh, no. You can't use that. Mr. Gubert, I'm going to use you. Alright, squirrel. Yep. Okay. Uh, let's just... Oh, man. This is not going to be easy, is it? Okay. Let's use Gubert. I am serious. You cannot use that. There is no possible use for it. I'll place it on that shelf over there for now. My advice, avoid it. Okay. All right, so this is not going to be a fun, fun battle here. So how do I want to approach this? I guess probably like that would be the best. Um, at least the overkill will do something. There we go, so it's back down to one, perfect. 
And there we go. We have one. Our burst is such a great card. I love this thing. All right. Now, let's see. I don't need bug again. I don't need you. Uh, I guess a beehive couldn't hurt. Do I... Uh, let's just get another item. I don't think I have anything I can really sacrifice, right? Mm, I don't know. Beehive on an Ouroboros, maybe? But... Ah, no. Nah, I'm not going to worry about it. Let's just get another item. More pliers, just in case. You beheld him an immense man slouched beside a mucky pond. He appears to be tearing hunks of flesh from a fish corpse. Some chunks were thrown back to the pond, where a few ghoulish birds snapped them up, and some were sloppily pushed into the hulking man's mouth. You bring fresh fish. Easy choose. Alright, bub. Let's get this over with. It smells like fish. Um... Nah, let's just yeah, let's just get it over with. Why not? Go fish. Go fish. Ooh, I forgot I did that. Very nice. That is actually very helpful. There we go. Your limes are restored. Nice. Perhaps one of these will liven things up. Um, pack rat. Always a good option. Because pack rat's the homie. The angler's foul smell slowly faded as you continued on. We will need another map. Sheets of icy snow battered your body as you fought your way up to a vantage point. The snow-covered trees jutted from the landscape like prickly and misplaced teeth. You continued on through the snow line. Okay, so I have one rabbit pelt. Is there anything I can sacrifice? Because I think what I want to do... Let's put the beehive on the pack rat. I think that's the goal, but can I get rid of any cards? Um... Maybe the Rattler. I think I want to get rid of the Rattler. That might be the, the best plan of action here. Are your pelts clean? Air belts. I could put... Ooh, that's going to be... I could put the Mantis on the Boris. I could do that. Let's do it. These are exquisite. My thanks. Now, let's see if we can't... Okay, here's the plan. I'm going to get rid of... Uh, I'm gonna get rid of the Rattler, and I'm gonna put the Mantis on Ouroboros to try to get ten attack out of him total. I think that's the plan. Once we once we get that up points, so let's see. Um, let's do that. Let's save the Mantis for now. Or maybe we might have to use them. Let's see. Yeah, that should be okay. Ah, let's just, yeah, let's just end it now, because I have a feeling this is not going to end up very good. I think it's just a bad draw of the, the cards in total, so there we go. Okay. Uh, let's, yes, okay, cockroach. Nice, 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 nice. That's going to be good. All right. The crackling fire lit the start of paces of a group of survivors. We have not food, one said. But perhaps one of your creatures will join us. Enhance its power, said another. Um. Hmm. Because I'm going to sacrifice this. There is no point. 
guess I'll slap it on... Maybe my stuff will move here. Okay. Lucky draw. Okay, that should be fine. We could place you there. I guess I can probably place Reginald down here in a moment. Or not. That works too. Oh, right. We're making pretty good progress, I would say. Let's do mant another mantis. Okay. That is interesting. Not what I was expecting. Let's get this to cut cards, and let's get a black goat, just in case. Alright, next battle. Carry on. Uh, indeed I shall, my friend. I just need to do that. There we go. All right. All right. Um, ooh. You know, let's get a grizzly. There we go. Let's do this. Because if we pull the grizzly, at least... Well, no. Let's, let's sacrifice the mantis. Still put on our burst. Make sure that's still a really good card. So that's good. Okay. Trapper and Trader boss time. All right, let's get her done. All right. Only reason I was able to defeat you last time was because you put out eight bears. So it's gonna be different this time. I know you're not gonna do that to me. So let's let us handle it like such. Let's do that. I need to get some sacrifices down. Okay, that should be enough. Perfect. Alright, now, time to get rid of certain areas. Exquisite pelts, but the cycle must continue. Let's trade. There we go, finally. I don't think we've even done this portion here yet. Okay, is there any... Okay, so that's the mole. Powerful cards. I will only accept only the finest of pelts for them. Trade for what you can, but know this. The rest will stay in fight for me. I mean, hey, bro, look. Have you seen what the hell is on the board? I don't think so. So, let me put it in simple terms that you will understand. It's going to kick your ass. Like such. There we go. Alright. I think I'm ready for this fight. Need a light? I think we are good, my friend. Perhaps one of these will entice you. That filthy feral hog. It becomes incensed when its chimes are struck. I have no words for this freak of nature. Uh, let's do child 13. Why not? It's been a minute since I've used them. The mystery of the trapper and trader occupied you thoughts as you wandered onwards. A light in the distance caught your eye. Okay. A moment. Alright, so final area. So I'm good on cards. What can I sacrifice? Mantis on the grizzly. That is, that is the plan. There we go. Okay, here we go. The warm light of the cabin cut through the thick fog. Surely your tribulations ended here.
All right, let's just speed run up to the cabin. All right, a rare opportunity rose. The great boons of Leshy's woods were on offer. Trial of rarity, trial of skins, trial of the wings. Trial of rarity is probably gonna be our best bet here. Let trial of rarity begin. Yes, sir. All right, success. You may choose one. Magpie. Magpie is definitely gonna be our best bet here. Trial of Swift, Fend, Ring. Trial of the Ring, we still have that ring, I'm pretty sure. Yes, very nice. Most powerful boons, Ambidextrous, Goat's Blood, Force. Nah, let's do Ambidextrous, like last time, so that should be good. Alright. Out right of there, brother, two boons, impressive. Alright, dude. Well, I'm ready to kick your ass again, even though I beat you with eight fucking bears on two bosses, but hey. Let's do it again. All right, brother. You're back. Sit. All right. Well, looks like I'll have to beat him again. Yes, sir. Oh, how I realize this moment. All right. Now, the drawing of the cards is going to be the most important here, so two flames will not suffice this time. Okay. Let's see. I'm gonna go ahead and just yeet him on over just so we have at least got him down. Try to get some damage on the board here. Alright, so we gotta be careful of this minor boss here. Let's get Orvors down. Let's get our Grizzly down so we Okay, so here is what I'm thinking we do. Let's put those down. Because even on the next turn, if unless she decides to gold my cards, I still at least get my Ouroboros back. So that should be fine. Let's do that. that should, there we go. Okay. Alright, we're good. We're good. We are chilling. Yes, boy. Put put the put the put the moon down. I beat it once. I'll do it again. Watch me. Oh yes, all of my good cards are going out for this one, my boy. Oh, well, I say all my good cards, but uh, just give me a minute. That's what I was looking for. Oh, trust me, Lesh, you are about to get up. Walloping, my guy. Let's go. Alright, well, if you say to finish it, I will go ahead and finish it. Time to turn this man into a card. You had won the respect of the strange cabin's inhabitant. Your body quaked as the adrenaline of the battle subsided, leaving you with a gnawing hunger you had not eaten for days. Is this not so? <coughs> nice. Let me eat, let me eat. Surely this food will please you. I took extra care in preparing it. Let me eat it though. Really, does this this does not meet your standards? Very well. Stand there. All right, my friend, I'm going to go ahead and uh, put this film on. Who gave you that? You absolute ingrate! Get the back. There we go. Now he's a card. I get my button back. And let's head on back. Okay. New game. Let's do it.
In the beginning, the world did not know cards. That is, until the day the scribes arrived. Each had their own method of inscription to create cards. Gamor used her quill to inscribe the epitaphs of the dead. Leshy used his wildlife camera to capture beasts. PO3 used a particle scanner to copy the CPUs of robots. And Magnificus used his brush to paint his wizard pupils. With the cards created, the scribes had solidified their power. Until one day, a challenger arrived to replace one of the scribes. And that challenger, ladies and gentlemen, is me. Choose a starting deck to mark your ambition. I will take Grimora's. Your ambition is to replace Grimora and become the Scribe of the Dead. Well, let's just go through all of them, I guess. Your ambition is to replace Leshy and become the Scribe of Beasts. Your ambition is to replace PO3 and become the Scribe of Technology. Your ambition is to replace Magnificus and become the Scribe of Magics. Uh, let's definitely take Grimora's. Take the deck. The cards were added to your collection. Okay. And I think this is going to be a very good stopping point because this is a whole different game now, so... Thank you all so much for watching. I will see you guys in the next one. My name is Digital Kingdom. I'll see you guys next time.